guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com as well as ddefranco.com slash ask, link is right below. That is your open forum to send in any questions that you want that hopefully I will answer in future videos such as this one. Okay, so today's question comes from Taylor. Taylor says, hi David, I'm thinking about getting a pocket camcorder. I currently own a quite old Sony Handycam. Sorry, the wording was all mixed up. Still uses mini DVDs. Oh wow, that is old. Mini DVDs. Those things never caught on. That's for sure. Just have to get that out there. Although this is a great camera, I'm finding it too bulky to carry around day to day along with my digital camera. Understandable. I only shoot small clips, vlogs, that sort of stuff, nothing too lengthy, so I thought a pocket camcorder would be perfect. What would you recommend? Taylor, this is an excellent question and something I've talked about in the past, but not directly, so this is finally my chance. Okay, so let's start out with pocket camcorders in general. What are they? Well, they're basically cameras built for the main purpose of BAM! Grabbing that moment, BAM! Back in your pocket. It's really that easy. Now, when I think of pocket camcorders, I instantly think of one brand, well, two, but this one sticks out more, and that's Flip. Whatever happened to Flip Video? Oh, that's right. Cisco bought them and killed them. I apologize. I forgot to shut up my air off. You just heard it go off, but there it is. I mean, Flip is one of those brands where it wasn't ever really high quality video. I mean, I mean, they did eventually get up to 720p, which is good enough for YouTube. This is what this is. My camera's 1080p, but I uploaded 720 just for file size reasons. Uh, but video quality was always kind of meh. And, as ironic as it sounds considering I love Apple and I am an Apple enthusiast, we have Apple to thank for killing flip video in general. What am I saying? Well, iPhones, iPod Touches, even iPads now. All these devices can record beautiful video, most of them anyway, in 720p as well as 1080p. So there's really no need for a pocket camcorder from Flip, hence why they're dead and as sad as it is, honestly, it's really not that surprising considering the pocket camcorder market in general is also dead. Now, what am I getting at? Kodak. Kodak ZI8 was an awesome camera. I actually still own it. It, it um, even had external mic support, which is something you rarely ever see in a camera that costs, I think, $150, maybe $200. I just know it was a great deal considering the price. Now, in terms of the ZI8, I believe that's also dead. I could be wrong, but if it's not dead, it's going to be dead soon. I mean, the pocket camcorder, guys, it's just, that whole market is kind of behind us. It's like the whole CD versus MP3 thing. Why would you buy a CD? I know better quality. I'm not going to get into that. When you have the ease and use of downloading an MP3 and taking it with you on all the devices that you own. I mean, with your iPhone, you can literally just whip it out, put your video on YouTube and you're done. However, getting to the question, Taylor, I don't recommend getting any pocket camera good or whatsoever. Just stay away from them. My recommendation is to get an affordable actual camcorder from Panasonic. Now, I love Panasonic. I've used Panasonic camcorders for years now. I'm actually recording with one right now. This is the Panasonic HTC SD600K. It currently retails for between $500 and $700. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Maybe just $400. I say just because that's really not a lot of money for this kind of camcorder considering all the features it has. And I also say just because my first Panasonic camcorder, the Panasonic PVGS500, the one that started YouTube for me, cost $700 back in the day and it used mini DV tapes, which has its pros and cons. Honestly, this is a huge topic and I could talk about it for a long time, so I'm just going to leave you with that. Trust me, stay away from pocket camcorders and instead just go with an affordable actual camcorder such as this one, but a little cheaper. So thank you very much for your question, Taylor. Hopefully I answered it in some form, shape, or fashion, whatever that saying is. And of course, today is a free audiobook day brought to you by audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Just go there, sign up, and, and you get a free audiobook right away, and you, and you get to keep it for life. My air came on. I really got to remember to turn that off. Uh, but today's free audiobook pick for me personally is called Get Seen, Online Video Secrets to Building Your Business Plus URL. 
that means building your business and your online business but many of you maybe don't even have an online business and that's fine I mean online business is essentially the same thing as building a brand online whether it's YouTube Twitter Facebook or in e-commerce sites of some kind I mean these rules can apply to anyone looking to be successful online because let's face it getting email um, video is very popular and if you're not incorporating video into your brand then you are missing out big time trust me I can say that from personal experience and well I've been on YouTube since 2006 so I know that from personal experience did I just say that twice but yes check it out audibletrial.com slash the creative one again link is right below but if you're not interested in this audiobook don't worry you can get any free audiobook of your choice including my personal recommendations over at ddfracker.com slash audible check them out they, they range from Apple related books to Microsoft to social media in general and all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching as always if you want to submit your own question just go to ddfracker.com slash ask just like everything else in my life that link is right below this Dignation logo have an awesome weekend and I'll see you soon